So if you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable foot 21 coins, make sure to head over to u7buy.com and use the discount code u7tube for a 5% discount. Yes guys and welcome to the use of Unbuy YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a Lionel Messi review. I have picked up his gold card. I lost a lot of coins on him. I did buy him on Thursday and in the space of two days I lost like 100 plus K. Like the market is crazy right now. But either way you guys have clicked on this video to watch this Messi review. We'll go through his pros, his cons, his price and everything. So if you guys could drop a like that will be much appreciated. We'll aim for 20 likes and also subscribe if you're new. So let's jump straight on into it. He has got 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. I do think think he should have five star five star but four star four stars okay um i put four star skills as a con because five star skills in in the attack role in my opinion this year if you're playing in fifa at a high level it's key you need five star skills really badly um but overall four star skills is still very doable you'll see me do la croqueta a lot the fake shot stop um which is great um and yeah so he's got four star four star medium low work rate so didn't find it a huge issue um at times he didn't make loads of runs but i mean quite often he did make a lot of good runs um, so medium low work rates didn't find it a huge issue to be fair um, not as big as you'd think um, if you're wondering what I played by the way I play, played a 4-4-2 this is my foot champs um, some of my highlights my first five games I was killing it uh, first five games Messi played insane um, and basically I played Usman Dembele and Messi at striker if you're wondering so them two at striker were a joke Messi's finishing inside the box is outrageous uh, so he's finishing his key start um, honestly, he's got that many stats above 90. I just had to pick a mix, literally pick a mix with his key stats. So um, let's jump into his pros. He's got 95 finishing, like I've said. His positioning is 93. I think that's a big reason why his movement was so good. Um, his work rates are bad, but because he's got 93 positioning, I feel like that um, contrasts quite well with it. it like over overrides it really it's really really nice um next up we've got short passing and long passing his passing in my opinion was my favorite thing about this card with how bad passing is this fifa um having a, a, a good passer is really really no noticeable Messi's passing was insane man like some of the passes he was pulling off were really really good look at this goal by the way beautiful and a great finish inside the box inside the box his finishing was insane outside the box i didn't actually score as many as i thought um, but I don't usually take that many outside the box, to be fair. Um, so that's his passing covered. His curve, right. I really want to... Perfect time. I really want to put a lot of attention on corners. So I never actually cross corners until I had Messi. This is going to be another corner here. Every corner I took with Messi pretty much landed on my player's head. I do, do believe we scored from this one as well. Yeah, we've got two corners this game. Um, and Messi's corners, because he's got such good curve, good crossing, his corners are like almost a free goal. If you've got a good header in the box as well, I had Varane in the box, which is nice. Ferla Mendy did score as well. Um, yeah, so his crossing is a joke. That was the only long shot I think we scored all weekend, but what a goal it was. Um, he has got really good long shot stats as well. Um, his balance is 95, so he's low centre of gravity, being 5 for 8 as well. Um, really, really nice. A great finish again there in the side of the box. He's a joke, man. Absolute joke. So 95 balance, very nice. Agility 91 as well. So again, he's actually five foot seven. My bad. He's not five foot eight. I thought he was five foot eight. Um, but yeah, he's five foot seven. So that low centre of gravity is beautiful. That double tap Y, by the way, double tap Y pass. It's still very OP this year. I do recommend using it. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's like a lobbed pass, and it lobs it just over the defender's foot a lot of the time. Um, you're gonna see several goals for out here. Usman Dembele and Messi's link up was very very good. Um, and then final final couple for the pros we've got ball control which was 96 and composure 96 as well there were so many other stats as well but i can't really fit them all in um look at this rainbow flake and i mean does he score it of course he does on his left foot um his right foot is a little bit dodgy i will say that you'll see most of the goals on his left foot his right foot was a little bit dodgy he can take penalties as well his penalties are only 75 surprisingly um i think it's because he missed that one penalty for argentina that time um so yeah, uh, but what a finish again. Into cons, so stamina is by far his biggest issue, by far. So I put that at the top. 72 stamina, my only free kick this weekend, by the way. And he scores it. Let's go, Messi. In a tight game as well. 1-1 one, one to make it 2-1, let's go. Uh, so 72 stamina is going to be an issue. Around the 70th minute-ish, maybe even 65th. Depends how dominant you are with him, really. Um, he is literally unusable. And I mean unusable. Like, from the 70th minute... That 96 agility goes f like down to like 40 because he's got literally no energy left and uh, he feels so stiff on the ball after like the 70th minute because he is absolutely dead. 
Um, so that is a big issue. You have to sub him off, especially if you go to extra time as well. Um, strength is its not a huge issue because a lot of wingers do have low strength, to be fair. Um, he's got 69 strength, um, which is quite low. It'd be nice if he had a bit bit more strength, but um, I didn't feel like he got bodied that, that often. His dribbling's that good that he didn't really get bodied that often. Um, aggression is 44, so aggression's really, really low, but it's not a huge issue for a winger, to be fair. And jumping 68, again, I'm just trying to find cons, really. There's not loads. Uh, and sprint speed was definitely a con. Um, he's only got 80 sprint speed, which puts his pace down to 85. His overall pace is 85. Um... And his pace was not noticeable to be fair. He's got decent acceleration, 91, but his, his sprint speed is quite low, so uh, that finish absolutely beautiful. And then four-star skill moves I mentioned at the start of the video. Not a huge con, but it's, it's just nice to have that five-star skill. So overall, do I think he's worth that, that amount of coins? I do. I think he's really, really good. Um, was very good this weekend for me. In bad gameplay, he was a little bit stiff at times on the ball, very surprisingly, because you'd expect a guy like Messi to be really really good but that's like a majority of players really in bad gameplay delayed gameplay um a lot of players are not the are not the best so he didn't really get involved a lot against the better players because the gameplay on i think i played a lot of my games on saturday and the saturday gameplay was terrible so messi didn't get involved loads but um anyway boys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the messi review if you guys have enjoyed please do drop a like i'd appreciate that um let me know if you want any other gold card reviewing I will hopefully review some of the promo cards coming up as well. So, anyway guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.